so welcome everyone to this session on measuring service mesh performance 101 uh so i don't know if it's, if it's just me but uh, uh i think service mesh is the latest cloud to buzzword and uh, it's all over twitter and everyone is using it uh that makes sense since uh, there are obvious uh, benefits for using a service mesh from managing your the, your entire traffic uh, uh maybe uh, adding some configuration policies uh, additional security benefits and uh, even some telemetry and other uh, metrics uh but uh, does uh, does these benefits uh, uh like we are at a point where uh, we should be asking whether this uh, like how 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 adding a service mesh is uh, uh is affecting the performance of your system is is affecting the performance of your workloads so uh, with this session uh, we'll try to walk through on how you can measure service mesh performance and why you should measure your service mesh performance uh, along with some tooling and uh, uh and some uh, and a demo on how you can measure your service mesh performance uh, we'll be also looking at uh, some uh, open source uh, projects uh, both of which are in the cloud native computing foundation and uh, yep so let's get started so as a service mesh operator or as a service mesh adopter uh, we often find ourselves asking what does it cost like it it sounds too good to be true so what overhead does being on a service mesh incur so it is important to evaluate uh, how your application how your workload performs when it is deployed on a service mesh so that is our that is the first first uh, drive for us to measure the performance of our service mesh the performance of our workload in our service mesh and uh, what this cost uh, becomes is uh, it can be an added latency or it can be an added resource consumption both of which can results in uh, uh, real world business impacts like uh, additional costs uh, uh, additional infrastructure support uh, and so on so uh, service mesh operators uh, ask themselves uh, does the benefits of a service mesh uh, outweigh these cost like service mesh are definitely helpful for them and uh, but uh, is it affecting our performance is it uh, is it is it costing too much uh, and uh, if that is the case uh, is a service mesh right for our particular use case so uh, should we even so uh, as people are trying to uh, trying to adopt service meshes uh, uh, instead of just following the crowd uh, they should they should step back and ask themselves is a service mesh uh, right for their particular use case so let's look at the some performance testing basics so uh, we will have our application uh, deployed in a stable infrastructure uh, on on our service mesh so there are a lot of service meshes out there and uh, a new one is popping up uh, every 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 few every few months i think and uh, like uh, A, f- a funny metric here is that there are more uh, service meshes than there are people using service meshes in in production but yep uh, there are a lot of service meshes out there and uh, you have your application deployed on top of that particular service mesh and uh, to run this performance test uh, we will have a benchmarking tool so our benchmarking tool will hit our application and hit our workload and it will be collecting some metrics from uh, uh, for w- after hitting the your application and uh, after this after he, after uh, producing this traffic and we will uh, collect some uh, key performance indicators which we will look in at a later time and uh, we will collect these uh, uh, metrics from the uh, from the from the application and from your infrastructure and a, a key a key a key point that we should consider here is that the testing should be uh, consistent and repeatable and uh, we will look at how uh, how this is uh, ensured with a with a service mesh performance specification uh, cncf project uh, in the later slides so uh, looking at some benchmarking tools uh, so benchmarking tools are basically uh, layer 4 or layer 7 performance measuring tools uh, some of the examples are wrk2 uh, fortio and uh, nitoc so fortio uh, 
is the official testing official load generator for uh, for the Istio service mesh and Nighthawk is from the Envoy team at uh, at Google and uh, so what what these uh, what these does is uh, what what we can use this is to uh, run the performance test against our workloads in service meshes. So uh, a caveat here is that the performance of the system of your system can change over time, and if you are using a benchmarking tool like uh, WRK2 or Fortier or Nighthawk, uh, you might need to change your test configuration over time to uh, uh, to ad adapt to these changes. So maybe your uh, uh, maybe the maximum the the actual the maximum load that the system can sustain uh, changes over time. So uh, what we what we need to do is uh, we need to have a solution that uh, that can not only uh, figure out what the maximum load specification of the test is, but uh, uh, what the maximum load uh, specification how how it changes over time as well. So that brings us to adaptive load control. So uh, to solve that problem, uh, what we can do is we can automatically update our test configuration uh, in each iteration. So each time we send traffic to our workloads in a service mesh, we can update the test configuration based on metrics that are returned by our benchmarking tool. And uh, what we can use at the adaptive load control feature is uh, we can measure how the performance has evolved over time. So how how we have implemented this feature is is in another service another uh, CNCF project called Meshery. So basically, we have a test configuration, and we have an adaptive load controller which is built into this tool called Meshery, which we will demo uh, towards the end of the session. And uh, so we have an adaptive load controller, and we will we will use the benchmarking tool, and we will we will send traffic to the system under test. And what we will do is uh, we will we will have a monitoring tool uh, which is which might be built into the load generator itself, or it can be something like uh, uh, Prometheus or uh, yeah Prometheus. And what we can do is we can collect these metrics, and based on these metrics, we can have this feedback loop, and uh, we can adjust our test configuration uh, test configuration. So. Uh, while adjusting this over every iteration, what we can find out is the maximum load your system can uh, sustain. And uh, we can run these tests uh, over time to figure out uh, how the performance of the system has changed over time or after you make uh, changes to your system configuration or, or, or things like that, or any, any changes that might affect the performance of your uh, workloads. Now, uh, Coming back to some of the uh, questions we uh, posed earlier, uh, how, how long should we run the test? So uh, uh, these are similar to how we normally run performance tests. So depending upon the uh, scenario, we can have a, a load test uh, where we test the system against a large number of users, or we can test the maximum capacity of the system. Uh, we can test the system under extreme conditions, or we can even go for something like soak testing, uh, which is uh, more or less uh, similar to real world use cases where we run tests for a prolonged period of time. And uh, what are the what are the measurements that uh, that we are interested in? What uh, what values sh uh, should be should we be measuring? And what are the key performance indicators of a service mesh? So this brings this brings us to the first CNCF projects uh, project that I would like to talk about, which is uh, service mesh performance. So service mesh performance is a specification, and uh, what the specification does is it it captures the the entire performance aspect of a service mesh, uh, ranging from these static metrics and latencies to types of to the type of service mesh you are using to the uh, to the uh, uh, to the the environment uh, the, the the environment configuration like the CPU, the 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 storage of the system, and uh, maybe the number of cores the system has. So what what the SMP uh, spec does is it abstracts out uh, 
the uh, these performance indicators and it abs uh, it abstracts that into a specification so what this means is that uh, you can have consistent test consistent you can run consistent tests you can have uh, you can get reproducible results with the with the specification and uh, what you see on the side here is an example of the performance test result uh, this performance this specification is constantly evolving and uh, we are continuously iterating over the spec and uh, we are working with uh, folks at the cncf tag network to uh, to improve upon the specification so what, what what this specific so this specification essentially tries to capture uh, the, the entire performance test result and uh, uh, talking about uh, running these performance test uh, the smp provides the specification but how do we actually uh, implement the specification or how do we actually use the specification or run test uh, that uh, that is compatible with the specification so this brings us to our next uh, tool uh, another cncf project uh, completely open source project called meshery so meshery is the uh, implementation of the service mesh performance specification and uh, what meshery does is it lets you manage the life cycle of service meshes it lets you uh, it lets you configure your service meshes it it lets you uh, run performance tests against your service meshes so it is essentially a service mesh management platform and uh, what meshery does for service mesh performance is uh, uh, it implements the service mesh performance specification and uh, uh, as you can see you can use uh, an interface to interact with machinery and run performance tests uh, on your on your on, on your workload on your service mesh so uh, that's a uh, that's that was a lot of talk and uh, let's look into uh, some of this in action with uh, with an actual demo so let me get machinery up and running So uh, this is my current environment. So this is the Meshery dashboard, and uh, uh, I have an Istio service mesh uh, installed on my cluster, and uh, I uh, I also have uh, deployed uh, Prometheus and Grafana to collect some metrics from my uh, from my environment as well. And uh, yeah, as you can see, you can also uh, work with all the other service meshes. Uh, I have deployed only. Uh, uh, four of the service mesh adapters, but you can you can go ahead and work with any other service meshes you want. So uh, so Meshery not only manages the service mesh uh, lifecycle, you can manage your applications. You can uh, validate your service mesh configuration and see if you follow the best practices, or you can even bring in your own custom configurations and uh, apply it. So let's uh, let's look at uh, performance. So uh, what what this is is the performance dashboard in Meshery. So what you can do here is uh, you can you can collect metrics from your uh, your your provider that, that is uh, Prometheus and Grafana in in, in my case, uh, which isn't showing metrics for some reason. But uh, uh, you can but what you can also do is. Uh, you can schedule tests and you can schedule them to run at a particular point in time. You can have them run at a recurring time or, and you can go back and look at the results from the particular tests that you run before and all of those stuff. And what you can do is you can also define your performance tests, uh, test configuration based on the type of test you want to run. So, uh, if I if I if I run a load test, uh, uh, so if I run a, a, a load test, I'm just running it for five seconds for the demo. Uh, you can get uh, you can cap get the results from from the from the load generator, which is which is Fortio in this case, but also you can get uh, the the other metrics from your uh, Prometheus or uh, or your Grafana dashboard. So uh, this uh, you can configure uh, these uh, the tests. The tests are actually uh, 
uh, quite configurable you can change the uh, the concurrent request or you can like uh, you can set a particular queries per second or you can leave it blank to figure out the maximum qps and uh, you can also add some uh, request headers or a request body if if it if it if your uh, api needs that and you also have you can also work with multiple load generators and we are working on abstracting this this out so that the user can uh, work more from a like a, an operator perspective instead of having to deal with the the entire imp implementation of what's underneath so yep yeah. and uh, what this means is that uh, a service mesh operator uh, can can deploy their application on multiple service meshes so as uh, meshery provides uh, users to work with multiple service meshes you can deploy your application across uh, multiple service meshes and compare compare their performance so if you are evaluating your evaluating which service mesh to use or uh, if you are evaluating whether your application how your application performs uh, on and off the mesh uh, what you can you can use meshery to compare them and uh, to compare that uh, let's see uh, so we have these four test results so if we if we compare those uh, you can you can see how how one performs uh, better or worse than the other so uh, this can this can work well for uh, test that 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 i mentioned earlier like across multiple service meshes or across uh, or after deploying your application on a mesh and uh, off a mesh so yep uh, i think that's pretty much it from my side and uh, before i go uh, uh, i also want to talk about the the service mesh performance meshery service mesh performance github action so what we have here is a way for uh, people to actually test test the performance of their workloads on their ci cd pipelines so we currently have it as a github action but we are working on uh, uh, we are working on basically adding it to the other ci ci cd uh, platforms as well and uh, what this action does is uh, it, it you can basically spin up a kubernetes cluster uh, deploy a service mesh with meshery and deploy your application on the, that service mesh with meshery and then uh, you can run performance test in the pipeline and uh, it will automatically report back uh, the the results to to your meshery to your meshery cloud instance and yep so that is pretty much it and uh, i'll try to share the links uh, while i answer some questions uh, and uh, yes uh, feel free to ask question i think we have some more time with us so yep uh, navindu there's a question in q and a section uh... there's a about a tool yep, yep. Uh, so magnus asked uh, the tool you are referring to in the beginning yes uh, it is uh, on by proxies nighthawk so nighthawk is a load generator uh, one of the popular load generators that is being used so this this was developed by the onvoy team and actually the istio team works the istio team at google works closely with this project as well uh, yep so yeah that that is definitely the tool so i will also share links to the project uh, and uh, you can check them out and uh, so and you can uh, like after you check them out you can uh, reach out to us uh, in our community discuss forum uh, if you have questions so feel free to jump in there and ask your questions on service mesh performance and uh, if you if you if you think we can improve the specification and capture uh, something different uh, feel free to mention that as well thanks a lot navindu for your time and talk here it was it was really a nice one uh, all right have a nice day i think we don't have any more questions or folks if you have any questions navindu is around Yep. please feel free to ask
Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, have a great day, guys. Uh,